hello divine feminine divine masculine welcome back to my channel i'm Aji, and this message is for you if this reading resonates with you make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel okay so in my pre-reading divine feminine divine masculine i've been getting the urge to do this reading okay for you guys this is just a collective message. If you identify as divine feminine, divine masculine, um, then this message is for you. Okay, so I asked what message did divine masculine have for divine feminine, and these cards came out. I'm still going to go through, but this is just my pre-read, and I wanted to show you guys what we're working with before you... For y'all come for me okay so you have the tower card and the eight of cups this signifies that there was some type of foundation the old structure of something did not work the structure of what is being built or could be what is being built today i'm feeling like what relationships are built on today what society wants you to build on today that house breaks down okay or what something was built on some type of foundation it wasn't solid. It's not going to be solid. And divine masculine's message to divine feminine is that they're they're leaving this this tower. Once this tower broke, I feel like in the dynamics in which we were raised. Once they leave this tower, once this tower cracked and broke they made a choice to go for their happiness okay there's also a new beginning coming and it's quick like they're going after their new beginning they want they want something new they want to create some type of new life some type of new ideal the old structures the way of, the old structures or the structures that society is trying to put on things is definitely not working and they're walking away from that they're definitely going to be moving far away from that okay going fast into this new beginning Divine Feminine, on the other hand, want to take this leap of faith, but it's hard. Want to trust that there'll be no much, there'll be no more drama. They want to take a leap of faith and take all these wands off and lighten their load, but it's scary on the other side. I feel like Divine Feminine is ready and willing, but also I have to play this into it. This came out. Divine Feminine is also in her independence now. It's been a time where Divine Feminine had to fend, fend and work for and um, serve for herself and put so much on her that now Divine Feminine has, okay, has things. Divine Feminine could also be content with being that person, with being the person who goes out and go get things. So Divine Feminine is content with every now and then jumping out of her energy, jumping out of that divine energy to go get, to make things happen. They wanna take a leap of faith. They are so ready to do things easily. But I feel like the idea on the other side is that divine masculine is gonna to have to learn how to love divine feminine that's content here, that's happy, that has their own. And then Divine Feminine has to learn how to, even though you have your own, how to still be in a place where you are a team player, where you're willing to let someone else drive the car and trust that where they're taking you, you want to go there too. That's the, And trust that both of you guys have the same end goal. You're just letting someone else drive you there. Okay, so let's get into it. <clears throat> that is the beginning message. You feel like this message is for you stay tuned stay tuned for it okay let me pick a card for divine masculine divine masculine energy what do we have for divine masculine energy this may be a long video I'm just telling you now go get a snack <clears throat> also those of you who wondering i didn't break any crystals the jar of the crystal broke that is what broke the jar my crystals are little they're still intact right here you know they're still in a pile right here 
but the crystals didn't break at all. So this the jar broke. What messages do we have for divine masculine? Sacred contract. Mm. A soul contract, magician sword. Sacred contract, a covenant, and a perfect storm. There's some rewriting of some type of contract. Also, <sighs> divine masculine. Definitely is going to have to get into a place of going back. Divine Masculine is ready to enter the sacred contract with Divine Feminine. They're ready for unity, okay? But the old, the old way of things or the old ideal way of things or the old rules, they have to be torn up for some reason. The ideas have to be torn up. There's some type of contract you made with yourself or some type of some type of rule or something. It has to be contract. But they're ready to now be in unity with divine feminine. Okay. There was a perfect storm that happened. For some of you guys, this was like a lot of chaos happening, a lot of things happening outside of your control, but it pushed you to step into your life. For some, for divine um, masculine. Some of you guys have been through a lot of things that push you to step up in your life. You could also be seeing a lot of fours um, or 747 or 47. No. Yeah, 474. You could be saying that or 744. But anyways, a lot of you guys have been pushed. You let the universe push you to this process. I feel like there's an energetic push, though, um, here. But Divine Feminine is ready to be in contract is ready to I feel like there's a huge energy we're gonna see when we get to divine feminine but behind divine masculine you have to understand your intellect also understand your ability to lead understand this is the magician's sword confidence in your own magic and divine masculine protects divine masculine leads the divine masculine is gonna go and get something project builder you have to have that confidence in your own. Also, for some of you guys, you've been wearing many masks and have not been yourself. And then behind this, you have divine feminine. So for some of you divine masculines, you have not even been your authentic self. You have not been showing up in your authentic divine masculine energy. That's why you couldn't find divine feminine because you had a mask on. She couldn't see if it was you or not. And behind that, behind you taking the mask off, there is the cosmic what um, womb. There is divine feminine right behind you. I feel like also in order to get in touch with divine feminine, you have to get in touch with your own feminine energy, divine masculine, because we're both have to get in touch with that. Know when to stay and then also know when to leave. What else do we have? Perfect storm. It's cautioning you to be in, if ready, to get ready for an exciting, if turbulent time. The winds are picking up and you need to make sure that you are close to the eye of the storm or you'll be left behind. The key is to remain centered and balanced and bear witness as the force, forces build in intensity. Notice how the loose stuff is starting to fly around and recognize how little of it you truly need. Let go of all some type of baggage. For some of you guys, in order to get into the sacred contract or the sacred unit unity with Divine Feminine, there's a lot of baggage that needs to just be blown away by the wind. Right now, the universe can be making so that you let go of things that don't serve you. You let go of some things. You take off mask. You face the ego. Authentic self. You had to be so many different people in your life. And being so many different people and not stepping into your own energy could kind of, could it could, it could have kind of made you feel like you weren't confident to step in your own because people didn't admire that. People didn't like that. Someone's telling me to go to these these moon oracles with um 
Divine Feminine, okay? So Divine Feminine. Let's see. What messages do we have for Divine Feminine? If this is resonating with you, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. What message is resonating with Divine Feminine? What messages do we have for Divine Feminine? Balance. Divine Feminine needs balance. What else? Or Divine Feminine is trying to balance everything out, trying to weigh everything out. You have will. Why did I know that this was going to come out? Will coming out at the bottom of the deck. Let me put this over here, actually. And put this up here. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, you have the unexpected with the darkness and then power behind that. Okay, so let's see what we have for you. First, you have will. Um, not will. First, you have balance. The waning gibbous. Seek balance. Extremes of anything are rarely healthy or useful. There may be an overreaction that has caused the issue. Ground yourself and allow your strength to rise from there. Be aware of where the imbalances in your life are at present. So there's some there's a need for balance for a divine feminine. There's something that knocked divine feminine out of balance, extremes, extreme relationships, extreme ideals, extreme societal pressures could have knocked divine feminine off their um off their balance, off track, okay? And then you have will here. Decisions require action. You are in control of your own decisions in life. No one else's. Passion and will determine a great um, proportion of your success. You will persist. You possess free will, which means you should focus on yourself first and avoid placing your will over another's. So I feel like, for some of you guys, you're finding the will to, to put yourself first and then also submit. Put yourself first and how, how do I put myself first and then also play this, this the, the roles of the energies? How do I do that? That's what I'm feeling. When you want to change and get balance, the need for balance, you have to do this. There's will. There's a will. There's a way. There were so many extreme relationships happen that knocked divine feminine off balance, but there take, it takes some type of concentration and self-discipline in order for you to get that type of balance back because um, divine feminine energy it's not it's not looked at as it's looked at as another way and we all know that in society um at the bottom of the deck you have the unexpected yeah the unexpected the blue moon no matter how well you plan there's always room for the unexpected to occur Build your resilience, and rare occurrences can happen. A visitor you have not seen in a long time may re-enter your life. So is that divine masculine? And then we have the darkness coming through. Darkness. The long night moon. The long night moon. You're enter entering a time of introversion, a leaner time, or a time to turn inward to plan and strategize. It is now time to do shadow work which will bring big dividends later on, release what no longer works for you. Okay? Who calling me? Mm. 
Uh, they say the unexpected person is going to call. So unexpected. Violence. Be willing to go into the unexpected. For some of you guys, you want control over this thing. Divine fem Feminine, I'm sensing a lot of resistance. For some of you guys, you don't trust yourself to make the right decision. There's a big surprise that's about to happen. And I think the surprise is going to be for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is going to feel it. Okay. Let me go into my Moon Oracle. For you guys. So Divine Masculine is ready to go into this, 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 this type of, it's the same thing. Divine, Divine, Divine Masculine is ready to go into this unit. Um, Divine Feminine has been knocked off balance and trying to get back on balance due to the extremes and the pressures and everything of life. The loads. We talked about the loads of life. They're ready to. They're ready to take that leap of faith. But it's going, it's going to take a lot of will and determination. And there has to be, a, like, control. Can't You can't have some type of, like... You can't control this thing. Tell me more about Divine Masculine. What messages do you have for Divine Masculine? What does Divine Masculine need to know? Be bold and make the first move. So you're the unexpected. So Divine Masculine, you're going to make the first move. Be bold and make the first move. Your commitment is being tested. How bad do you want it? How bad you want this energy? How bad you want this unit, this sacred contract? You're the one who are ready for this sacred unit, this sacred unity, this sacred bond, okay? You're letting this storm, you're letting the universe rip things away, ideals, behaviors, people, things away from you that you no longer serve, that puts you in the perfect position so you can make this boat first move to divine feminine. <clears throat> How bad do you want this? That's why the storm is happening. How bad do you want this? What messages do we have for Divine Feminine? What messages do we have for Divine Feminine? What messages do we have for Divine Feminine? Two. You and your loved ones are safe. What do you need to release? So Divine Feminine is more of you feeling safe. It's more of you getting into that place of being able to be held by Divine Masculine. It's more of a knowing for you to know that you and your loved ones are safe. You can take your hands off the wheel. You can take your hands off the wheel. You don't have to guide this thing. You don't have to, you're safe. You're safe, you're safe in the arms of Divine Masculine. And what do you need to release? Why don't you feel safe? Why do you keep cautioning yourself? That's what we talked about with the Ten of Wands here. There's some type of burdens that need to, you want to lighten your load, but for, for real, for real, you don't feel safe. You don't trust it because you've had situations show up in your life time and time and time again to justify why you don't trust this. You may need to go to therapy. <laughs> you may need some type of like practical plan in order to get, because this thing is, or if it's not therapy, and I mean that in like, you know, shoot, we all, we all do. Therapy is excellent, okay? But you might need to go to therapy and you might need to meditate, contemplate, look at the bigger picture. What else is behind here? Bring love into the situation. Your dreams need a practical plan. So there has to be some type of planning for something. But then you have the unexpected. Some some of you guys feel like that something could be structured and planned, like you should know the whole thing. You're still trying to plan. You're still trying to take the um take the wheel. It's okay, you're safe. You don't have to control this thing in order for you to feel safe. Um before we get into the tarot. I wanted to go into the romance 
deck to see where you guys are really in romance and love. Because it looks like Divine Masculine is ready for unity. And Divine Feminine is afraid of it. It's crazy how that is coming up. Um, afraid to let go. Wants unity only if sh they can control it. Or not control it, not in the sense of that, but they could have total, like they know the ins and outs of where they're going. In order to take their hands off the wheel and relax and be guided to the end point in which they want to go and divine masculine want to go, there has to be some trust and faith there. But divine feminine has been thrown off balance due to the extremes of societal pressures, life past relationships, family dynamics, just thrown out of balance. And this could have been for a long, long time. Let's see. What messages do we have for Divine Masculine? What messages do we have for Divine Masculine? What messages do we have for Divine Masculine? Thank you. Thank you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect make, makes you more romantically attractive. It's talking about confidence. Confidence in your own magic. Confidence in your own inner strength. Building your confidence back up. For a lot of you divine masculine, you're not confident enough in your own your own leadership, waiting for all the world to love you and open their arms to you when you don't love you. You have healing family issues at the bottom of the deck. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there may be some, 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 some work that you have to do there to forgive your parents. Because for some of you guys, you were not, you didn't, you weren't able to lead something you was wearing so many different masks you weren't able to lead in a way in an authentic way that you wanted to and it looks like you're walking away from that ideal with that tower card and that eight of cups walking away from something that just is not working for you ready for this divine unity this divine unit this sacred unit but In order to be bold and make the first move, you have to have some type of confidence, which is self-love and self-respect and trust. Confidence. The magician swore. Confidence in your ability to lead and protect. The sword is to protect. Some people protect their lives with the truth. For some of you guys, divine masculine, speak the truth. Confidence in your word. Confidence in what you say. Say what you mean and mean what you say. What messages do we have for Divine Feminine? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and your affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So they're calling you, calling in your soulmate. You are safe. You are safe. Divine Masculine is literally on his way to you with a deeper commitment this time with something like an engagement here definitely calling in your soulmate your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so make sure it's what you need to expect what you need to release this is going to be unexpected shadow work needs to be done with this darkness you have to realize what you're attracting, what needs to let go, shadow work. Shadow work will let you know that. We do shadow work. Follow me on Instagram, down below in the um, description bar. Or make sure you turn your notification bells on and you subscribe. And I post it in the community as well. We're on week two. We just finished week two today. So, we rolling. Okay? We rolling. I'm going to use this deck for Divine Feminine. Um, because all of this is, all of these cards are feminine energies. 
And where's my other deck? Oh, here it is. You use these cards for Divine Masculine, okay? I don't know why I just get like a masculine. I think it's because the back of the deck. I'm not sure. Um, Makes me think of like a knight or something. What messages do we have for Divine Masculine? What messages do we have for Divine Masculine? What messages do we have for Divine Masculine, please? What messages do we have for Divine Masculine? Knight of Swords. The need to prove yourself. Divine Masculine feels like that they need to prove themselves. Keep striving, keep working. Work hard like you need to prove yourself. There's wisdom in this on the, um, on the other end. What other messages do we have? Also, there's something fast, a fast magnetic attraction coming towards you. Or maybe divine, divine feminine is pulling you in. Okay. You got the Five of Pentacles here with the Knight of um, Swords at the bottom of the deck. So divine, divine Masculine feels like they've been left out in the cold. Feels like they, have, they don't have support. Divine Masculine does not feel supported. So Divine Masculine is working so, 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 so hard to feel some support. What else do we have for Divine Masculine? It's that feeling of like something speeds up though. That's good news coming in. Good news is happening because Divine Masculine, like I said, Divine Masculine is ready and willing to go into this, ready for this, ready. Divine Masculine realized that that old house was going to burn down because that old house was built off of a shaky foundation. It wasn't solid. It wasn't firm. So they walked away from that, making it, making the plan, making the promise to themselves to go for their happiness, to go for what's true and what's real. But things have to be stripped away. Old ideas, everything. There's some communication that comes through. Be confident in your sword, confidence in your magic, confidence in your... When you communicate with Divine Feminine, if this, communicate com this communication comes through fast, there's some type of communication, be your authentic self. Take these masks off, because that's the only way. Take these masks off. Divine Feminine been through too much to be played with now. And stand your ground. Have confidence in yourself, in your own power. Have to use your power as well. Not in the power of manipulation, but in power of truth and honesty. Let's see what we got for Divine Feminine. Then we're going to go into my white cards now to see, like, on a. level what you guys are saying what messages you have for each other what messages do we have for divine feminine what messages do we have for divine feminine Okay, so yes, Divine Feminine, there's an unexpected phone call to you. You could be making whoever, somebody is about to express their feelings with, a, with an unexpected phone call, unexpected visit. You're not expecting this person, the unexpected. It may be for you to express 
because there is communication on both ends. You got the eight, and then you have the page on your side. I feel like this is shooting towards you. So this person is about to come to you and tell you exactly how they feel. What do you need to release? Realize that you're safe here. You can trust this, okay? I know it's been so many times where you trusted something and you realize that you couldn't, but you can trust this. Express yourself as well. Don't hold back. You see the night coming? Well, then here's the page. Both people are expressing themselves to each other. One person more fearless than the other, but both people are expressing themselves. The page is pretty expressive. It's like a child, very innocent, childlike. Think about when you were a, when you had your crush in middle school, you swore that if this guy didn't write you that note back, you were just going to die. Like your open emotions, like feeling free in that moment, loving carelessly without a care. We don't know any better at this age anyway. And it's that, that, that innocent love, that passion, that fearless love. Somebody, they're, they're going to be coming back, meeting each other, bouncing off of each other. What other messages do we have for Divine Feminine? This is a beautiful reading. What other messages do we have for Divine Feminine? Judgment. It's a time for you to be happy, Divine Feminine. New beginnings, new blessings, soulmate energy. Soulmate energy at the bottom of the deck. This is a soulmate possibly bring brung from your um, angels. This is your soulmate. So you, you see how divine masculines, their energy is action. Their energy is action. Moving action coming to you. The action even leads over to yours. Where it comes to the, the page of wands to the knight of cups. Because divine masculine energy is about action. All you have to do, divine feminine, is release some things. Do that shadow work. Release some things. Get in position to receive. Get in position to receive. There's nothing that you have to physically do. Okay? All of this is emotionally. It's inner work. It's inside of you. And once you release it, you automatically get... Um, attracted to that divine masculine energy it can't help it it's going to attract it's going to attract to you okay so let me get into these message cards somebody is grinding somebody is working really really hard okay what messages do we have for divine feminine divine <laughs> I meant Divine Master. Let me do this again. Meet me there. Divine Feminine wants you to meet you where they are. Divine Masculine is finding out the truth crushed me. So Divine Masculine, you found out some type of truth. This could have made, this could have lowered your confidence a lot. What else? What other messages do we have? Divine Masculine. How is Divine Masculine feeling? How is Divine Masculine feeling? How is Divine Masculine feeling? Is that how they feeling? Finding out the truth crushed them? That could be how they feel. Divine masculine feels like they want to be more than friends. So divine masculine, there's a divine feminine person around you that you want to talk to. You probably don't feel confident enough to talk to them. Um, and you want to be more than friends. There's a friend here. Somebody could be friend zoning you. Tell me more. What, how is Divine Masculine feeling? You're being patient. You're being patient when you need to be bold and make the first move. You're being patient. 
when you need to be bold and make the first move. Divine Masculine. What else is Divine Masculine feeling? What is the Divine Masculine energy? This is like a fall out of nowhere. It's Divine Masculine feeling. Divine. Okay. So Divine Masculine feels like uh, something about a big screen. Could be this big screen. Could be watching this on a big screen. Um, but Divine Masculine feels like that they're loyal to you, Divine Feminine. They want you to have faith in both. They love you. And they need to let something go. Need to let this go. They could feel like that they're ready to let something go. Um, or they could have mixed emotions. Somebody could be getting coffee in the morning, going out for a breakfast date. Tell me, what is divine feminine feeling for divine masculine? Yeah, this came out twice. Meet me there. This is how divine feminine feels. Meet me there. Divine feminine doesn't want to do the work themselves. Meet me there. These got you are already my wife came out with that. How is divine feminine feeling? Divine Feminine wants to see, I want to see you. Okay, Divine Feminine wants you to meet. So there could be some type of agreeing something. Some type of meeting place. Like I said, somebody could be having some type of breakfast or something. They want to see you. How else is Divine Feminine feeling? How's Divine Feminine feeling? Oh, it's yours. <laughs> Divine Feminine, okay? I said sat down somewhere. Um, Divine Feminine is always smiling, blushing. Okay. What else, Divine Feminine? How else is Divine Feminine feeling? There's a Virgo. Something about a Virgo that's 40 or 40, 40 Virgo. Something about a Virgo. What else is Divine Feminine feeling? Mm, I think about you all the time. Then we at the bottom, we have diamonds. Divine Masculine is already thinking you're their wife. They already think about you as your wife. You know how they say when women don't walk down the aisle already, divine masculine has already walked down. That's what they'll tell you about them too. They do that too. They already has Im Im imagined you as their wife. Okay? And you're thinking about them all the time. You want to see them. Um, you hope that you guys meet each other at a certain spot. Let me see what the outcome is for this for you guys. I'm going to let you guys go. If this is resonating with you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. What is the outcome for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine in this reading? What is the outcome? Got the magician flying out the deck. <laughs> flying out the deck. Also with the queen of cups. Tell me more. On the right path. Take a leap of faith. The fool flying out the deck like that. Leap of faith. Headed in the right direction. Somebody's going to have to be confident in their in their stuff which is you which is divine masculine somebody's gonna have to take a leap of faith which is divine feminine tell me more what is the outcome for divine feminine and divine masculine the queen of cups and the queen and the king of wands the Queen of Cups, understanding their emotions, sitting in their emotions, being a nurturer, okay? Being a nurturer, being caring, loving. The King of Wands, 
the visionary, the leader, the one who leads. Stepping in this energy is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Cups represents Cancer. The King of Wands represents Leo. I feel like your emotions, your intuition, your nurturing energy is needed for the vision to keep this fire. This water is going to keep this fire burning here. You know, sometimes it's wood that keeps a fire burning. Then sometimes it's water that makes a fire grow. So I feel like this, this is the water that's about to make this fire grow. At the bottom of the deck, it's the queen of swords here. So Libra energy here, truth, communication. Knowing your worth also behind this. But this feels like it's headed in the right direction. One person needs to know the confidence in their own, the, their own confidence in them, themselves. And somebody needs to take a leap of faith. Somebody needs to honor their emotions and another person needs to honor their vision. Okay? And truthful communication, being true to one another drop the shields drop it more so divine masculine drop the sh stop the shit cut the shit okay take off the mask all right that's the message that i have for you guys today i hope this reading resonated with you if it did make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i will see you in the next video